Hello, hello. Are you in love with my tote as much as I am? Oh my goodness, I love this tote. So let me tell you a little bit about what I was looking for and how I ended up with this one. So this tote idea was I carry a tote um, whenever we travel and it's just some, um, oh my gosh, I have to go get it and show you. Hold on a second. <sighs> okay, I'm back. I had to show you because this is kind of a funny story. I won this tote in a business meeting. This is a California Telephone. We do a lot of work for the local telephone company and it's just a tote bag. It has these little handles and this big handle and inside it has a few pockets and outside has a zipper pocket and I don't know. It just became my tote bag always, wherever I went, traveling or whatever, I always put like my books, my iPad cords, whatever, you know, was in here. And I was thinking, there's nothing wrong with this bag, but I was thinking how neat it would be to have one that matched my trailer. Because in a sense, when it's the colors of the trailer, it's kind of like camo, like camouflage. It almost just disappears. That was in my head. So then the next question was, uh, what tote bag? Like, you guys, there's so many. There's a bajillion tote bags out there. How to, free patterns, pay patterns, whatever. They're everywhere. But I knew I wanted not to duplicate that, but the usefulness of that. So I knew I wanted it big enough. And it's a little bit, I would say this one's a little bit smaller size-wise, but um, it holds what I want it to hold, so I'm okay with it. Um, I ended up with this one by SoSpire. This is Andrea Chapman. She has a great channel. I've never been disappointed with any of her projects. And what I loved about it was that it had the two-tone. I really wanted the two-tone because I knew I was going to do the vinyl on the bottom because that would make it sturdy when you get dirty. <laughs> like rhyming. <laughs> and I have this vinyl in my trailer and I have this color in my trailer. So I knew I wanted that. Now... For the inside, I use this same fabric to do the inside. I love that it has the double zipper. Isn't that cool? So I followed her instructions to the letter. I didn't change anything. And it was an easy, easy make. So let me just show you what is in here. Do you want to snoop? There's like a series, What's in Your Handbag? I remember that, and I liked it. I wanted to see what was in everybody's purse. I'm nosy, really. So this is what I had in my tote bag from my last travels, and there may have been a couple other things that I've removed. I can't remember for sure, but let's open it and find out. So I have my iPad, and that's my big iPad. I have my old iPads a little smaller. I might have had both of them in there. A cute little notebook that I planned on writing down our travels, which I usually do. But this time I did not. <laughs> I wrote nothing. Uh, on my next trip, I will. What I like to write is just Monday, got up. Here's what we have for breakfast. What do we do? We went for a hike. We went here. We went. I just like to be able to look back on my trips, and it is really actually fun. It doesn't have to be like lovely, beautiful prose. Just what did we do? And there's the pens, a little baggie of pens. Oh my gosh, I need a matching bag, right? Too much? No such thing. Just a bunch of colored pens. Because when you write notes in colors, it's more fun to read later. What else? Did you see my fun project bags? Um, this is the one I've started on, barely. But I am really excited to get on these. And so if you haven't looked at my project bags, now what's inside, I have a different video. And I'm not sure where in the sequence this is going to be. But um, if you want to see the projects that I've pre-done, Take a look at my video list and you'll see that I have a video on how I put these together and then another video on how I put my project bags together. So that's in here. And I always need band-aids. So I made three little pockets. So who knows what's in there? Could be anything, right? A catch-all. Just band-aids and some um, hand cream. And then over here, I've got a few extra vitamins, a prayer book, a little tiny prayer book my rosary so there's that and then over here I have um, some nail files more hand cream what's up with the hand cream camping's like that right mm -hmm. and then there's nothing in this one I think it had cords all the cords to go with my iPad and my iPhone so that's what's in there so this is it empty just take a look at that 
some of the features of this is that the that the straps fall down and I actually really love that because I don't need them in the way when there's when it's sitting on the bench right next to me I just love the straps down and I reinforced my straps because I really knew I was going to put heavy stuff in there these things can get heavy before I talk about making it can I just show it in my camper and how awesome it looks in there oh my goodness I'm in love with it let me show you So, you know, sometimes when you're in your little tiny camper, it just looks messy because there's stuff, lots of stuff. So I thought if my stuff was hidden in this color, it would just like be not messy. And it worked. I'm going to be doing more projects. <laughs> you're going to get tired of this fabric. <laughs> it really was easy to make. I just followed along the video. I mean, literally stop and start the video, but I still made mistakes along the way and Somehow, I think you guys just really like seeing boo-boos. Maybe it makes us all feel better if you make them too, but I I am the queen of making mistakes. So I'm gonna show you just a couple of things that I did wrong along the way. You wanna see? Do you or not? Okay, here goes. This just seems to be coming together so easily, step by step, following the video. Man, it's going to be such a cool bag. I can't wait. I'm pretty excited how this is turning out step by step with Andrea Chapman watching So Spire. I can't believe how easy this is coming together. And I can't wait to finish. And mine looks like hers. Yay! I am just full of boo-boos today. First of all, I was supposed to sew these pockets onto one panel and I sewed them through both of my panels. And I thought, well, it's already done. So I just cut another panel. It was out of a scrap, it fit perfect. It was practically already the right size. So I just kept going. And then I pinned my panel on upside down. My pocket is out down here, my zipper's up here. So I have to take this out. I'm so good at taking things out. Here we go. Okay, I took it all out. I need to double check. I'm not doing this again. Okay, so now there's my inside zipper pockets. Whew. Okay, I'm back on track. Sewing that down. Okay, I'm about to sew my around the whole edge thing. And this is the opening that I'm gonna turn the bag and this is just the kind of thing I would sew up and forget. So I did two pins and two pins to remind me this stays open. And she had me open the zipper so that I can stick my hand through there. And that's where I'm at. It's happening. I'm turning it. As someone said they call it birthing the bag. I wish I could video this for you because it's so cool. So all in all, you know, I had to stop and take a detour of taking things out and putting things back, but that is kind of normal for me. I am really good with a seam ripper. I can almost take to get, I could take apart pretty much anything because I have so much practice. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my goodness. Ugh. So all in all, I love it a hundred percent. It's a winner as far as patterns go and you can just make it with, for free just go watch her video and follow along and uh, i think she also has an etsy store where you can get like um an instruction sheet with all the measurements and stuff and i always like to get those because i like to have that for next time and i also like to support artists because you put a lot of work into making these patterns you should get your five bucks or whatever it is um, it adds up and it's nice and it's a kind of just a thank you for making such a beautiful project available to me at no cost to me. So there you go. What do you think? So inform my trailer. Let's put it all back. I gotta go. I got a trip. I need to get this in here. This has got to go with me. Who knows? I might need to leave right now. No, I've got work to do. I've got packing, cleaning and packing. You know how that is. Now I'm ready. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. I so appreciate it. 
Um, love you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I look forward to seeing you in the comments and uh, what you think of my lovely tote bag that is in camo. I have to say that because my husband loves camouflage. And if he, if he, if I said this was camo, he would, no, that's not. But it is because it disappears. And isn't that the purpose? So again, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And uh, you remember I'm here every Friday. So come back and see what's up. We'll talk. Take care. Bye-bye now.